Hey, welcome tonight, everybody. Looking forward to talking to you guys. Um, really, for all of you guys who don't know me, my name is Jonathan Stringer. Um, I'm super stoked to be talking with you guys tonight. If any of you guys follow... Um, oh, my goodness. I just blanked on his name. Eric Thomas, ET, motivational speaker. He's got a phrase, uh, TGIM. Okay, today is Monday and we shouldn't be, everybody lives for Friday, everybody lives for the weekend. Let's start being thankful for the day that it is. Let's start being thankful for the opportunities that we have ahead of us uh, and the things that we can really accomplish in today as opposed to just waiting for Friday to come around and just being in that TGIF mentality. All right, guys, going on today though, I, what I want to talk about is... Something that's kind of um, uh, controversial might be the right word. Talking about the fact that network marketing isn't right for everyone. And some of you guys might be sitting there thinking, wait, wait, Jonathan, I thought you liked network marketing. And I do. I do 100%. But it doesn't mean that it's the answer for everyone. It doesn't mean that everyone should be joining uh, my network marketing company, your network marketing company, anybody's network marketing company. It's just, it's the truth. Um, and so just diving right into things, guys, I guess I want to, I want to clarify a couple things. Like I said already, I do, I love network marketing, 100% back it, think that, that, um, that it's a phenomenal industry, okay? And I'm not trying to sabotage anybody. I don't want you to feel like, oh, Wait, I, I thought it was for everybody. Like that's I, I don't want you to, to be taken back by this. Okay, this is a good thing. Um that it's not for everybody. So so this is not a sabotage on you or your dreams. And I don't want you to shy away from building your business with everyone that you can. I don't want you to feel like, oh, Jonathan has said that it's not for everyone, so I shouldn't be going and talking to everyone. Not the case. I, I really want you uh, to to understand where I'm coming from, guys. So jumping in, I, I do also believe, I, one other thing, guys, I believe that everyone can benefit from the industry in some way or another, all right? But the key is in the person, and that's why not everyone should be jumping into a network marketing company, all right? So... Before I get into who who should be doing it, I want to I want to talk about who shouldn't. Right? There's a couple of of key features, a couple of key factors about people that should not be doing network marketing. All right? And as I go through these people, I don't want you to think, "Oh, Jonathan, I one of those people sounds like me." Just because you have a trait or multiple traits of any of these, that does not mean that that hope is lost. It doesn't mean that if you have somebody on your team that ha is one of these people, then it's a terrible thing. That just means that there's change that has to happen before that person can ever really, truly be successful with it, before they can ever really um, achieve their dreams with it, okay? And, and that's just the truth behind it, guys. So who shouldn't be? And very first person. The boaster, the, the me monster, okay? How many of us know somebody like this or how many of us have been like this? I, I remember going in, in high school, I was about as me monster, as, as, about bo as boastful as I could be. It was me. I loved, and this is different from wanting to be center of attention, guys. It, I just, everything was about me. I walked into a room and I wanted it to be to revolve around me, okay? Um, but I, it's just true. You cannot be arrogant. You cannot be big headed and, and really just concerned about, it's all about my credit to build a huge team because you're going to have to help other people become stars in their own, in their own realm and their own world, their own sphere. Okay. Mr. Millionaire next month, not hate to crack it to you. You can't get into network marketing with unrealistic expectations and stay in it. You don't get in thinking, oh, I'm going to be making $10,000 next month and then all of a sudden, 
next month rolls around and you're not there, you're going to be pretty upset. You're going to be sitting there. Well, no, no, no. I got in because I was going to be a millionaire. I was going to be a six-figure earner within a month. The unrealistic expectations hold you back. You won't work as hard. You'll start falling short and you'll say, well, I'm not going to be there. Can't do it. That doesn't mean you don't set goals that make you stretch, but you can't be Mr. Millionaire next month. It's not a get rich quick scheme, guys. We hear it over and over again, but it's not. So let's stop with the the being rich next month and think about the long term results, the long term benefits that from com- that come from building a business like this. All right. The next person who really this person should not like I probably. Probably more than anybody because these are the people that go out and speak bad about network marketing. These are the people that go out and tell their friends and their family that it's a scam and it's terrible and all these ter- bad things, okay? Mr. or Mrs. This is hard. I'm going to quit. What in life isn't hard? What What are you doing in your life? Maybe if you got a job that's not hard – you're not living up to your potential. You're not doing something that you should be doing or you have fallen into your comfort zone and you will never achieve what you what you really could achieve. And that's all I got to say. If something is hard and you quit, you won't accomplish anything in your life. Let alone you should not get into network marketing. Right? And we should not be going out and actively trying to like hard close these people or even close in any way, soft close even, these people into our business. Because all they're going to do, as soon as they find out the work it takes to build a network marketing company, hey, they're going to ask la vista, dude, I'm out. Uh Uh-uh, this is too hard. I can't do this. And then they're going to be like, yeah, I I joined with Joe down the street. Man, Joe couldn't even help me make $1,000 a month, $500 a month. He's the reason. They'll shift blame to everybody but themselves. That's just it's the honest truth, guys. All right? And then this next person, oh my gosh. I've been this person, and it's not a good person to be. It's not somebody that is going to be successful in network marketing or in any business, really. But it's Mr. Know-it-all. How many of us know a Mr. Know-it-all, and we go and we try to tell them something, maybe... Maybe they need help, maybe they need some coaching or they need some advice and you go in and you try to talk to them and you try to say, hey, I think that you could do better here, here and here and they say, nah, actually I I know what I'm doing. Don't talk to me. Or they, how many of you guys have had this? They go and they ask you a question wanting you to agree with them, okay? Hey, I, I did this. This is how I'm supposed to, right? And as soon as you disagree, you say, oh, actually, they, they tune you out. They're like, ah, oh, well, I saw it done this way, and this guy was super successful, so whatever. Because they're Mr. Know-it-all. They're too prideful to let you coach them and mold them into the leader that they could be. You can't be successful like that. Sorry, guys. Mrs. Negative Nancy. All right, final person. And this is a pretty short list, guys. These are the only types of people. And what's funny is oftentimes these people are kind of one and the same. Okay, if you're Mr. Know-it-all, you're kind of negative at times too. Everything is, because if it doesn't go your way, you know why. And it's woe is me. I, I can't believe that I woke up this Sunday and it was raining. Oh my gosh, my life sucks. Learn to do stuff in the rain. Find something to do inside, okay? Because they're going to get into your business, okay? This is why you don't want this person. They're going to get into your business and all of a sudden, somebody's going to tell them no and they'll be like, I knew it. I knew this was a scam. That's why they told me no because it's a scam and you're a scam and the company's a scam and your product sucks and blah, blah, blah. They're going to, if you're in a health and wellness company, they'll pull up the bottle and they'll say, well, it's only got 
50% of my daily needed values of uh, vitamin C, if the product was really good, it'd have 100 or 200%. They'll find something to nitpick, guys, okay? You can't have a negative Nancy in your team or you can't um, force a negative Nancy person to be successful. They could be earning a million dollars a year and they'll say, this sucks, this is terrible. I can't even spend a million a year. They'll find something. They'll be negative. They'll make something up, you know? I don't really make a million, I, I pay taxes. No duh, everybody pays taxes. How many of us, it's tax season right now, how many of us are going through taxes right now? It sucks, but you can't have a negative Nancy person, okay? They gotta look at it and they, they, okay, I pay taxes, whatever. It's water off the duck's back, so to speak. It's it's in the past, it happened. Next, next thing to do, next, uh, next hurdle to accomplish, that's what a positive person is doing. Okay, guys, so those are the people that I think should not be doing it. Again, like I said, that's a couple of, only a couple of the little pieces there. And usually, it's it's not a huge group that, you know, I mean, that's not like each individual person. Generally, people that have one of those qualities starts to have two and three and on and on. So it's kind of apparent when you're like, oh, I don't want somebody who's negative and they're uncoachable, Mr. Know-it-all, and they think that they can be making a million dollars a year next week. You're going to get all these people, Okay. Who should, okay? Now, here's the, the really fun part. Who should be doing it? Okay, like I said, guys, earlier in the video, I think everybody can benefit. I think that this industry has the power and the potential to impact everybody's lives. Now, the difference is in the person, all right? So here's a couple of people who should, for sure, be doing network marketing, okay? Okay? Anybody who hates their job, okay? And because there's some people who love them. Good for you. I, I personally can't stand my job, I'll be honest. I, I work right now as I'm building this business part-time. Not a fan. I go into work and I'm thankful for my job because it pays the bills. I'm thankful for the opportunity that it provides me to build my business. But I go into work and I... I don't want to be there. I'd rather be on a video. I'd rather be contacting people. I'd rather be talking to people. I'd rather be with my wife. I'd rather be in, I mean, you probably name a lot of different things I'd rather be doing. The most, the highest one being with my wife, I'll be honest, okay? But past that, I'd, I'd rather even, it's not that I don't wanna work, it's just that I don't enjoy that work. Does that make sense? And so I'm not a big fan of my job, okay? Anybody in sales, all right? And why Why should anybody in sales do it? How many times have you been really successful in your career, been stoked, been, oh my gosh, I'm making a sale every day, every week, this is great, money's coming in, okay? And then all of a sudden next year comes around or next six months come around and you're sitting there, you're like, oh my gosh, I haven't made a sale in three months, three weeks. What's going on? I'm off my game. Okay, I, this sucks. This is how I eat. It's either feast or famine. I've talked to people in the uh, in the professional speaking sphere in that industry, guys. And that's sales. You have to sell yourself to get on stage and talk in front of people. Okay, they're out there. It's either feast or famine. They. It's not 100% consistently always amazing. They have good and they have the bad, all right? And it's, why not build something part-time? Okay, if you could build something part-time and then use that to supplement your income in the down times, maybe in the up times you're throwing it into savings, okay? Maybe you don't need the money. You just throw it into savings though. And all of a sudden in the down times, oh, I've still got thousand two thousand three thousand dollars coming in every month so it's not like I'm telling little Timmy sorry we can't have the meatloaf you've actually got to go for just hot dogs on 
you know, a, a tortilla shell, hot dogs on a slice of bread that we fold up. We can't even get the ketchup and mustard because that's how tight things are. But the next month rolls around and it's like, hey, let's get the T-bone steaks, let's get the ribeyes, let's go out every other day. This could provide some solid ground for you, all right? Next category or group of people that should be doing this, and it kind of falls along with the sales people, business owners, self-employed people, especially small business owners. It's the same situation. Up and down, up and down. Business is great. Business is booming. And all of a sudden, business sucks. People, maybe you got a bad review on Yelp. All of a sudden, you got a bad uh, bad customer who spreads the word all over town. And it takes a little bit to build your reputation back up. Okay? Maybe, maybe you're seasonal. <sighs> There's a lot of businesses that are seasonal. And it's... It's rough in those off seasons. You have to save up enough money to carry you through and sometimes it's hard to predict. Oh, I, I can't predict the car breaking down and needing a whole new transmission. Okay, I can budget for it. Maybe I need tires, I need oil changes, maybe a miscellaneous fix here and there. I can't budget a transmission all the time though. Seasonal businesses, any business, again, this can create a solid, solid foundation for you to, to launch off of each and every month, okay? Next people, okay, and this is a wide range of people, but anybody, anybody who wants to change their life, okay? And I don't mean like just the people who are like, oh, I want to be a millionaire or, oh, I want to become so spiritual like Buddha. Okay, that's, I'm not saying like some, such an extreme change, but maybe you feel unfulfilled. Maybe you like your job, but you go, you come home and you feel, ah, I don't know. I just, I don't feel as fulfilled as when I first started the job. Or maybe it's the people that, you know, they're, they're being great parents but they feel like, ah, I feel like there's more. I want to give more to my children. I want to do more for my children. You go to church and you're like, ah, I want to give more. I want to help out more. I want to be the guy that anytime somebody needs service, anytime somebody needs help, I can step in there. Maybe I need to write the check. Maybe they need some physical help. You know, maybe I, whatever it is, your community, all right? Maybe you want to run for political office, but... You can't because you're busy working your job all the time. Okay, it's not that you hate your job, it's just that you want to impact the community, the the group, the the people all around you more. And and it's you just want to change your life. You want to change the world around you or you want to change the world at large. Network marketing gives you a solid solid platform to just launch anything like that from. You need the extra money coming in so you can write that check for somebody, great. You need the money coming in so you can run for office, great. Anything, I mean, it, it falls into play. They say that you can't buy time, but you really can. If you've got enough money coming in residually, month after month, maybe you know $4,000, how much time does that buy back in your life? And you can use that time to impact people, untold countless amounts of people okay and and everybody's gonna look to you and they're gonna be so thankful that you're there all right guys network marketing is phenomenal it is great it is amazing it can change anybody's life maybe it's through the product maybe it's through the business maybe it's just through the personal development that companies teach it's through the leadership the mentorship some of you might be sitting there, I've never had a mentor. I've never had anybody who's cared about me. And that's what you can have in network marketing if, you, if you've if you got the right people there. Okay, maybe you're thinking, oh, I don't know what I want to do with my whole life as far as a job, but I know I like to help people. It's another avenue for you. Maybe you're, you need, you know, discount travel options. Maybe you need weight loss options. Maybe you need more energy, whatever it is. Network marketing has some phenomenal products, some phenomenal services that can impact people's lives, that can change their lives and help you, help us, help everybody 
in some way, shape, or form. The question is, are you going to let it? Are you really going to let it? And that is the people that should be doing network marketing, is the people that will let it change their lives, the people that will let it impact them, and then they can, in turn, use it as a tool. Guys, I hope you go out, I hope you build your company, I hope you build your business, build your brand, build your your impact on the world. Go out and do some fantastic things, do some amazing things, and just remember that you've got greatness within you. You've got potential within you that you haven't even realized yet. Go out and grasp it and never let it go. Thank you guys for joining me. Have a wonderful night. Have a wonderful day. Look forward to talking to you guys again. Bye-bye.